Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I am here to talk about James by Percival Everett. This book is told from the perspective of Jim, who is the slave that we meet when reading the book The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. And so this book is kind of like a reimagining of the events of Jim's life. A lot of the key kind of plot points of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn do make an appearance in this book, but this book is so much more than just retelling those stories from Jim's point of view. So at the beginning of the story, Jim is a slave and he finds out that he is going to be sold and separated from his wife and daughter. And so he decides to run away. He runs away to a nearby island and he decides that like he's going to stay there and figure out what he's going to do in order to keep his family together. At the same time, Huck Finn, who is this young, you know, like 10 year old white boy, decides that he is going to fake his own death and he also runs away from home and the two of them end up, you know, kind of meeting up. Huck considers Jim a friend and so they decide that they are going to run away together, partially because Jim also realizes that if he's run away and Huck is missing, presumed to be dead, he will probably be blamed for Huck's death. And so the two of them run off and jump on a raft down the Mississippi River, hoping to end up in one of the free states. So a couple of things that I will address off the bat. I read The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn when I was in high school. However, I definitely did not remember very much of that book outside of a couple of details. And so one of the things that I did before reading this book was just like quickly reading the plot summary online, like reading the Wikipedia entry and things like that before jumping into this book because I knew that some parts of that story were going to be retold in this book and so I wanted to at least refresh my memory before jumping into this book. Do I think that you need to read Huck Finn before picking up this one? No, not necessarily. Like I think that you could potentially get away with like just reading a plot summary before jumping into this one but I do think that it does enhance your reading experience because you get to really see what Percival Everett is doing with this book when you have read that as an original text. Percival Everett is not an author that I've read before the only experience I have is the fact that I watched American Fiction earlier this year and I watched that movie without even realizing it was based on one of his books and then like I was looking into the movie a little bit after watching it because I loved it so much and then realized that it was based on one of his books and it actually is interesting like having that exposure to it because I think that there are some ideas and themes that are explored in that movie and slash the book that it was based on that also kind of come up in here as well. But again, I think that if this is your first introduction to Percival Everett, it'll it'll be fine. Like you don't necessarily need to have read anything else by him. But I feel like based on what I know from his books, like he's exploring a lot of parallel or similar or building upon themes that he has in previous books. So to jump to the punchline, I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really well done. I think that it's just really, really clever and really, really heartfelt and very honest and just really amazing. Like I am pretty sure this is going to end up on my favorite books of the year for this year because I was just like really taken by this book. It captured my attention. I feel like what he's doing with this book is really clever. There's a lot of details about this book that like I don't want to give away because I think that when you experience them for yourself it's really interesting. But I think that he puts a lot of really interesting twists on slave narratives in general as well as with this specific story that was told in The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Like one of the things about The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is the fact that like Jim and the way that he's written and the way that he speaks in the book and things like that uh, can potentially feel demeaning. And I think that it would have been easy for Percival Everett to be almost cruel to Mark Twain for the things that he had written. But I feel like he plays on those ideas while also having some level of respect for the story that was originally told. The fact that he's able to tell the story from Jim's perspective provides him with so much agency that's lost from the original text for obvious reasons. And it's really wonderful to see sort of what Percival Everett does with him as a character in this book. The choices that this character makes, the thoughts that he has, things like that are just like really interesting. I do think that sometimes it goes like really far. Like there is some level of like suspension of disbelief that needs to happen when reading this book. But there are 
details about Jim that you're just like, okay, you just need to accept it to, in order to have the story go where it needs to go. And you find out very early uh, what those details are, but I want to spoil it again, just so you as a reader can enjoy it for yourself. I genuinely don't think that there is anything about this book that I would change. I feel like the way that he takes some pivotal scenes from the adventures of Huckleberry Finn and incorporates them into this book are fantastic. I feel like the other parts of this book are also fantastic because there are parts of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn when Jim and Huck get separated from each other and so the experiences that Jim goes through over the course of this book away from Huck are really emotional, are really eye-opening and just like really make you think a whole lot. Is this book a perfect book? No, I don't think so. I think that there are, are parts of this that you can point out as being major flaws, like the fact that the female characters in here are lacking and the ones who are seen are mostly just plot devices. You could also potentially feel like that this book is too on the nose sometimes, which happens, especially in a book that is kind of borderline satirical at times and so your mileage may vary with those things but personally I just really enjoyed my experience with the book and I thought that the way that he chose to tell this story from this specific character's point of view was really well done. So so yeah you can add me to the course of people who really enjoyed this book. I'm sure there will be plenty of people who don't enjoy it who will eventually pick up this book and be disappointed by it but I'm really glad I read this book. I think it's worth the hype. I think that especially if you're someone who is aware of the story of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. It really is fun to see how Percival Everett chooses to structure this story and tell this story. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on James by Percival Everett. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts were on it, especially if you disagreed with me or anything along those lines. You're welcome to leave those opinions as long as you're polite as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love hearing what other people thought about the books that I've read. So definitely let me know down in the comments below if you've read it, what your thoughts were. So yeah, that's all I have for now. And thanks for watching.